In this video, I'm going to show you how to use force marker in account allocation in some systems. This manual details how to mark force payment for an invoice, but you can use this method to mark for multiple invoices if any. To do that, go to the function control box or the action box, and then type ACA to go the account allocations function. This change business unit window will be displayed automatically if users do not specify the business unit. In the field labeled business unit code, enter the business unit code, then click OK. The selection criteria for account allocation window is displayed. Step 1. In the field labeled account code, enter the creditor account code the allocation and press tab. In the fields labeled accounting period from, Two, enter the range of months for the allocation if any, or leave blank for all periods, and press tab. In the fields labeled transaction date from, two, enter the range of dates for the allocation if any, or leave blank for all dates, and press tab. The same goes with other fields journal type, journal source, journal number, transaction reference, second reference, and entry date. In the field labeled allocation marker, select the unallocated only value. In the field labeled include revaluation, select the no value. In the field labeled select transactions, select the include all value. Then click extract. Step 2. In the find form list window, select full, account allocation. Then click the OK button. Step 3. In the account allocation window, you will see all the transactions extracted for allocation or amendment. In the allocation marker column, choose your desired transaction and click the drop-down on the not allocated cell. Then, select force from the drop-down list. To force more than one invoice for payment, you may continue to mark for other invoices force. Otherwise, click the post by base button to post allocation. The message revision successfully posted is displayed on the status bar. The lesson is finished. See you next time.